Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name is Adam and I am back with episode 5 of my Caesar 3 series. And well, we walk straight into some form of battle. Uh, also I don't have any money, but that is quite obviously a problem for in a few minutes. People are to the south. You now these boys, these guys here, the morale is now very bold, but also they're academy trained. So hopefully that means they'll be a little bit more uh, resilient. We've also got cavalry. Cavalry? 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 It's coming up with that. It should be fairly light work with this group. No, nope, they're already running away. That was a double failure. That was a terrible, terrible failure. And, oh no, oh no. Well, that failed miserably. There's literally nothing I can do now. I, you just have to wait for them to finish destroying everything. Uh, only for me to start again. Yeah, the mood's going to be pretty bad because um, there is a bunch of people destroying it. I have been fired. That was actually I am most quite tough. displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Yes, your I city have. has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role hmm. I have in mind for you. I don't know what that means. New role. I just have. I just. Oh, see. So I can. I can choose the dangerous province, or maybe I can go to the more peaceful one. Now, clearly, I wasn't very good at the dangerous one. So let's go to the peaceful one and see if I can do something Once about again, that. I want you to found a new Anything city. special but here. But the criteria for success are a little different this time. The Roman Let's Empire is in see. crisis. Got famine, so they're of going to be asking Ceres for lots of anger food. Or due to human incompetence, famine stalks the Okay, let's just crack on. Okay, so we've got a nice, a nice big sort of farming area. Two farming areas, so that one's not as big. It's not a lot of space for everything else and here look down here that's all okay so farming looks like it's probably not going to be a problem but housing might be i'm going to have to have smaller settlements knocking around obviously i can redo this path but i'm going to have to have smaller well i'm guessing smaller areas uh but otherwise yeah well, wow. okay, let's crack on then. Let's find... Well, firstly, that's completely locked away, isn't it? So I've got to build a bridge to be able to even get over there. And bridges have to be on straight lines. So I can't do here to here because this is an angle. I might be able to do there to there. Uh, where's bridges? don't know which is the where's, where's the, the boats going to come from okay so it's not going to be this one because this one bends around so the boats are going to come here sorry if moving around is all too jarring I will try and stop oh look here we go look here's a lovely spot for bridges so I'm going to get a ship bridge in now and I'm going to put it right on the edge to sort of maximise space as usual. Then I'm going to need to have to, going to need to have to have, oh, to, see I'm great at English me. I'm going to need uh, housing fairly close. I'm obviously going to have to have some small campments up there somewhere, but to start off with, I'm going to need to have some housing fairly close by. 
So, if I was to... Hmm. Let's do that. Do I lose method to my madness? Don't worry. I'll get rid of that to make it look a little nicer and a bit more normal. Let's get... Oh, Jesus. Mouse keeps sticking. Uh, let's get all the usual stuff down. So, if I build the housing sort of here... Is that going to be... Let's see, so... One, two... Gardens fountain. Gardens around the fountain. That means one, two... One, two... There. That, that'll be fine, right? You can do that. Got to be a little careful where I put things. Um, I need to make sure I put things that are not going to get in the way in the right places to maximise my space issues. Let's get the basic of jobs down. Uh, water, uh, moron, water would be a good idea. Should we try there? Yes, close enough. Probably only just that is a bit of a distance there. So, first things first, we need a granary. Now, I don't want to put the granary too close, so I'm going to put it here, where I'll, I'll lose a little bit of farmland, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. There's plenty of it. Jeez, only just started. Okay, let's try that. I've left this here for a road. People are already moaning that there's unemployment. Just, just give me a, give me a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Right. Markets. Really? Good. Oh, come on, pottery. We barely started. Uh, let's put one there. Looks like I'm going to have to do some <laughs> some stuff like clay pits immediately, which was not the plan. But oh, I've got the uh, unemployment to, to be able to handle it. Uh, of course, you don't want to put things like pottery places too close because people don't like them. Got some of these fires issues out. I need more prefectures. I need one on the other side. Clearly, oh, geez, they're everywhere. Quick, quick prefect, quick, and oh, that no, one, no, no. There you go. Right. Get these down. Let's pop. This here. Prefecture there. Engineer's post there. Doctors. Barbers. Let's put down a craft house. Of course, going to need temples. Let's make sure the temple to uh, the farming god is close to the farm. The sea god can be nearer the sea. Don't know where trade's going to be, so I'll just check it out there for now. Doesn't really matter. Mars shouldn't have too much of a worry because it's supposed to be a peaceful province, if you remember rightly. Again, let's plaza it up because people moan that things are ugly. We have the money for it. And of course, a warehouse that can go 
Down here or something out of the way. There. Now, everyone should be happy. There's pottery running there, there's pottery running there. The gods are unhappy. Why are the gods unhappy? They just, they're just, again, impatient. Um, is this going to be entertainment first or. Yeah, entertainment. Okay, so let's get a. In terms of space, amphitheatres do both. So let's put down an amphitheatre first. And that way I can do. Gladiator School. Let's uh, close the space. The Dactyl Colony first, sorry. Closely followed by the Gladiator School. Okay, and then a regular school because education. Employment levels are very low, so let's just hold fire and let's just see how everything reacts to having that lot now available. Uh, yep, we've got plays and gladiator bounce going. <coughs> now all that pottery is going to start getting zapped up, so I am going to tell them to stockpile because we desperately need that for Mr. Caesar. Oh, exactly. Just, I literally just said that, dude. Now, these guys have no school, so the kids that come running out, there they go. Obviously, don't go this way. <laughs> so, a library would be a good idea. But, very few employees. Uh, library, I think, needs 10. 20? What? Is... Oh. Oh, well, how do you need natural disasters? Okay. Oh, not the farmland. Don't please don't destroy my farms. Just I oh, mean you've cooked you. That's completely cut off my farmland, isn't it? Uh, I'm guessing I can't do anything about this. Yeah, Alright. That's still going. It's just using up all the farmland. Thanks, earthquake. Finished. So can I build? No. I can't build over that. Can I build a bridge over it? No, I can't even build a bridge over it. So that means to use this bit of land, I'm going to have to what go this way and then this way. Do a loop around. And to use this chunk, maybe I can cross there. Yeah, well, well, one spot I can cross over. Oh. Well, okay. Interesting. Not quite what I uh, was expecting to happen, but never mind. Uh, there we do. We've got some unemployment again now. We've got some people in, so I can get me sent down. Now, again. I'll put that like down here somewhere where there's a bit more space because I want to have people up the other end ideally so I'll put the Senate like here a little bit out of the way people are disgruntled people are always disgruntled so 
I'm going to get some things down that are needed. Because up here is probably going to start catching fire or falling down any moment. People are leaving. Steady. Gee, this, okay, I'm going to turn this game speed down because it's, it's going mental. People are just overreacting. Right. You lot can have your pottery back. Oh, that's just too slow now. There you go, 80%. That looks a bit better. So you lot can have your pottery. And you can do your expansion and all that stuff. Uh, let's get a forum down. So that these guys will start paying tax and it will stop me from losing so much money so quickly. I've now got to work out where I'm going to put my dock. So firstly, let's see... Do I even need a doctor? They will come by road, perhaps. See, these guys buy fruit and wheat, but they sell wood. And these guys sell furniture, but buy marble and pottery. So nobody sells food, so it's up to me to make it entirely myself. They buy marble. Well, I could. That could be a good thing to do. So let's... Oh, they do come by boat. Okay. I'm well aware. So I've now got to work out now where the hell am I going to put a dock? This... Wow. Almost nowhere. I can only put it there. Or up here if I'm if I put it on the other side. But that doesn't make much sense, does it? Can I, is this dead land? Can I get over to here? Uh, I had a feeling that might happen. I can get over to here by another bridge. And only another bridge. So I'm going to settle with here. This inland lake has no access to the sea. Is it here then? Does this loop... Is this the sea? I mean, if it is, that's kind of handy. Yes. Okay, that, that worked out nicely. That, I'm happy with that. Right. People were still unhappy, but the Emperor was happy, so that's good. Let's see if we can do a little better on this one then. So, that farm was struggling, wasn't it, for, for employees? So, I'm going to need to find somewhere to plop down a little settlement of some form. So, perhaps. Perhaps I'll put them here then. It feels wrong, but I don't know if I'm going to have much choice. Yeah, there's just going to be nowhere else to put them. So let's put... I'm going to try and keep them as far away as I can. So we'll do that. We'll put a well down so that's something at least. Is that three there? No, it's not. Four. Then there will be just a few people, doesn't have to be many, <coughs> which uh, hopefully would be alright. Um, how many does this lot take up? Six and five. So it's eleven people. 
don't know how many people we're going to get in there. Wait, what is she doing all the way out there? There's not enough food here. How am I supposed to make it? There'll be plenty. Just don't go wandering off four billion miles away, you silly market person. I'm actually short employees still. So it's interesting to see if anyone's going to come. Oh, here they come. Here yeah, they come, by their billion. That's what I wanted to see. Right, he wants fruit, and I haven't started with fruit yet, so let's get some fruit farms in here. Ray fruit farm in this case. What I'll do is I'll change this one for a fruit farm as well. Hopefully, he will we'll find employees somehow. Probably going to need to have a prefecture down here as well. And that's not going to be great. We have a little garden. So five, five. It might be all right. There's quite a few there, isn't it? I saw these people you know, be coming to my dock. They bought marble, which I think has to go up near rocks somewhere, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Marble. Yes, it does. Oh, perfect. I can squeeze one in there. And I don't think there's anything to that. It's just straight up. And they dig it up. And then that's it. There's no processing, as it were. So I will trade. You know, just just trade. I don't think people are going to need it for quite some time, and I'm in desperate need of money. Our employment is eight percent. Uh, sorry, eight people, just two percent. So that's good. I don't know if this will do anything. Yeah. Didn't think so. That there's there's markets that aren't needed. So let's tell the granary to stop accepting fruit, and we will say in the doohickey here we are stockpiling. That's going to send it all to this warehouse down here. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be alright in terms of food. Yeah, there's 500 wheat in there. We've got three active, four active wheat farms. That should be able to sustain these, what, 700 people? Oh, yeah, look. 800 in there. 900 is another one just gone. Oh, someone just stole it all. How many of these little kids are going to be carrying this lot? It's going to be a massive train of them, isn't it? <laughs> this basket is killing me. Oh, these baskets are so heavy. No, um, no sign of crime around. Greetings. These structures were in poor condition. I came along so, just in time. Pushing carts all day long takes energy. There's not pushing enough food. Is the general consensus? As a car pusher supposed to carry there's 800 food there and 500 food there I think they're talking crap <laughs> because there's loads of food tons of it but what do these people want to evolve there is some entertainment but not enough and the only way to get more would be to either add a Colosseum or just a regular theater. I'm going to put them down a regular theatre, just to see if they want both a theatre and an amphitheatre. I don't think there's any real reason to need that, but, um, oh, look. So there it is. But it was. There's not enough food. I'm hardly needed. 
I simply can't perform well with our issues. But it looks like things are going all right there now. Marble is being bought. So we've got a boat here. Is the dockers he? are yeah, taking our goods marble. to the warehouse now. So we'll see my money go up a little bit, hopefully. Or is it, maybe it's already gone up, I don't know. But we could do with more marble production. Uh, I have to admit that that is going to be my, probably my only source of income. So let's get another marble quarry in there. You should be able to find people in no problem. Yep. Ten people. Poor access, but he's got it nonetheless. Right, these people are going to be stuck there until they get furniture. And I don't have any access to furniture because... Because, well, for some reason they didn't allow it. Clay pit and marble quarry. So... Food is still a problem. So let's continue the expansion. Uh, what's this? Have we got eight here? And what did the boss want? Did he want ten? Okay, we're close. And we should be able to fill that without him getting angry. Oh, yes, I'm one away. So what we need is... Let's get some more farms on the go. Couple of pig farms, maybe. A little different. Maybe people want them a variety of uh, of food. I'm going to need another engineer's post here. These bases are going to start falling down. If not, there is more wheat that, that they could ever need. It's just utter nonsense, isn't it? No employees living nearby. There are houses right on the other side of you, dude. You could shout and get people. You've just got to go in the right direction. They're here. Hey, there we go. The fruit's ready. Now, of course, I can say, let's start using the fruit. So let's tell the granite fruit to accept again. And everyone should be happy. Now all we've got to do is wait and hope that one of these farmers decides to go down this path and actually find the houses. Because they're there. I've just got to look for him. Oh, oh, oh. What about him? There we go, look. Suddenly he's found them. It's a bit strange that... Uh, that sort of thing happens, but it is what it is. I'm going to put some more. I'm just going to do like this. Do just a, a little sort of quartet of houses, just every now and then in little gaps here and there, so that uh, you know, the farms will have extra places to to source their people from. This one up here should have got enough people by now. Well they're definitely going to. There's only one place they can walk that goes past and it's going to go past these people so this uh, this farm will get some more people any moments. And that will start. I mean, how can you say there's not enough food? Look at that, 1900. In fact, we've even got a nice amount of pottery. And I think we can trade the pottery. So let's say, let's keep four and sell everything over four. In fact, what's, what's the most expensive here? 
so marble is pretty good. Weapons is the best, but we don't have anything to do with weapons here at the moment. But yeah, marble is pretty good. Well, I don't know, actually, look, marble is... I'm selling, aren't I? So 140, it's exactly the same as pottery. Maybe I should go mad on pottery as well. Maybe I'll worry about that a little later. But for now, uh, let's focus on just making sure everything's little dory. So, crime, yeah, is a problem up here. Because they're not going to have enough... Uh, enough to do and also you know they're living in tents and stuff they're not going to be happy about it what I could try to do let's, let's do let's do this and let's see if having a market there just improves things a little There's plenty of food to go around. They can't say there isn't. <laughs> and I know that they will. But having this market here might just upgrade these enough to keep them happy. I wonder if I can just pop a bit of road there and she can just go out this side. <laughs> Rather than having to walk all the way around the world. So far I've not seen any use, but it could just be... Oh no, she has food. So at the very least, this place will get food. This, this one tent. So let's see what happens when she starts to do rounds. Yeah, boom, there we go. We'll pass to everybody. These guys will all have the slight upgrade. No access to religion. Fair enough, but they've now got shacks rather than tents. Slight upgrade, and it, yeah, again, it keeps employees, it keeps the employment low. Uh, let's see, what else is there that I can do? Okay, pottery time. The pottery stockpile, please. Now, that could cause a problem down here when these people run out of pottery. Uh, if the market doesn't have enough, then these houses will heavily devolve. And, uh, yeah, that will become a problem. So maybe I do need to, to up my pottery game. But for now, I think we're in a good spot. This is all maintaining the status quo, of course. What I need to do is to continue, rather than just, you know, doing very little. <laughs> Maintaining the status quo isn't going to help. So, I'm just clearing a space here so I can get perhaps a, a quite nice big. So I'll try a different design rather than my usual useless one, I guess. Uh, I'm so I don't like that. So let's... Don't have to worry about deleting the path underneath them. The path will still exist for them. And so future ones will not worry about it. So let's put the gardens down first. So that will be gardens in there. And in there. Now, rather than have the square, I'm going to do a, a rectangle this time and have multiple drop down in one. What am I doing there? So let's see where I've got the money to do this. Place. So there'll be two fountains. And 
the road like that. There. I think that could could do good. The reservoir, I need to close the space up here. I suspect that's probably going to be the only good place I can put it. Yes. Bring in the people. immediately get some some buildings down of course uh, I should probably try and think about this logically yeah, where would be the good places to put these things I'm thinking one at either end And I'm going to put down a barber and a doctor at each end, just to help the health of the, the whole area stay uh, pretty good. Baths obviously has to go near the, uh, the water area. Let's not forget the fact these people need to eat. Uh, I've already forgotten marketplaces, so let's put one down. Needs to go there. We'll put one there. We're going to need a couple of schools. We'll put one down on either side as well. We are going to need again a theatre and an empty theatre. Get out of the way, you lot. You're in my way. And of course, I've already forgotten temples. We're going to need temples everywhere. Three bars. Eight. Okay. I think that looks just about right. Just a forum so these people don't uh, don't try and con me because I need money and <laughs> things like that happen if you don't have money. Let me build a second warehouse because we appear to have run out of space. Oh, he wants 15 pottery. For a second I thought, I thought it was all done. So let's see how things go here. Markets are just coming back with their food. Still plenty of food left. Population is looking good. I'm halfway there on population. So all these people are good to go. They just need pottery, which of course they can't have. Uh, because we are stockpiling it with a seasonal so greedy kids. Now, I also have to think about because up, up here is a good place to you know, do all the workshops and stuff. So I have to think about also how I get up to here. So I need to make sure I put down my bridge before I block it off with anything stupid. bad idea if I was to block that and then suddenly we need more food and I can't because we ended up locking it all off. What I will do though is I've got some more fruit farms on the go. Hopefully they shouldn't be too much of a problem to find people. Oh, look at that, they've already got them. I'm guessing we'll pass this little settlement here. It's 36 people there. So I think we're in a good position. Let's check the time. Oh yeah, that's the definitely long enough for one episode. Don't know, not yet. Two more. So, yeah, good enough, good, good place to end the episode. Uh, so as usual, thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, if you like these videos, like, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, just keep coming back, keep watching. Let's let's get this channel to grow. Because let's face it, I, I love doing these sort of things, and uh, hopefully you lot enjoy these videos. So yeah, come back and uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.